Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Carp Gurus. You join me here today back in the bivvy and on this occasion I'll be doing a 48 hour session at Cudmore Fisheries on Adelaide Lake. Well guys, the rods are out and I'm now set up on Adelaide Lake at Cudmore Fisheries. I've got two rods out as you can see. I've got my left hand rod cast one rod length off the island, so it's technically in open water. And then I've got my right hand rod cast straight out in front of me, again in open water. If you're wondering why I've got both rods out in open water, it's simply because we're now in autumn, the temperature's dropping, uh, so for me personally, I definitely feel more confident fishing those deeper spots at this time of year. Tactics wise, I'm using solid bags. If you've been following me for a while, you should know by now that my go-to method for when I'm at Cudmore is solid bags, and that's what I'm using. Solid bags filled with a mixture of pellets up to around four mil in size, and then to complement what's in the bag, I'm using small 10 millimeter dumbbell wafter hook bait. So yeah, that's my approach on this session. I'm not catapulting any bait over the rods. I'm not spotting any bait over the rods. It's just solid bags fished on their own in the deeper spots. So yeah, that's how I'm fishing it. And as I've said, we're now in autumn. It's getting on for 6 p.m. And the light is starting to fade a lot quicker now. So yeah, the rods have been redone, ready for the night ahead. And this is going to be my last update of the day obviously if it happens during the night i'll get back to you if not my next update will be in the morning back in, back in, back again. 7 a.m alarm absolutely ripped off and this is the result great looking carp i've just weighed this one it weighed in at 17 pounds eight and yeah as i said solid bags in the deeper spots and this is the result first fish of the session good morning everyone so i'm sure you know what time it is it's update time so yeah it's now around 10 a.m and as you've already seen we've had a fish and what a great fish it was Weighing in at £17.8, it really was an excellent start to the session. Anyway, moving on, plan of attack for today then. Well, after slipping back that fish, um, I was in two minds to be honest. I had the rod back out on the spot for around an hour and a half. Nothing happened, um, but yeah, as I've said, I was in two minds. I thought I can either just sit it out now for the rest of the day, or I can do a few more laps around the lake. Um, and then make up my mind um, if I'm going to be moving or staying here. Um, I know that may sound strange with me thinking about moving with me catching a fish from this peg, but my thinking was it could have just been a random fish that we picked up uh, and there still could be more carp held up elsewhere. So yeah, I decided to reel in um, and do a couple of laps around the lake before committing uh, to this peg for the rest of the day. And to be honest, yeah, I saw absolutely nothing. Um, I watched the water, checked out a few different pegs, um, but I didn't see anything. So I thought, you know what? My mind's at rest now. As it stands right now, I'm going to come back to this peg, get the rods back out. Uh, and yeah, 99.9%, .9 I'll be staying here for the remainder of the session. At the end of the day, I've already said I've caught from this peg previously and no matter what happens now, I've also caught on this session. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be staying here. That's how it's looking. Um, and yeah, the rods are now back out, uh, ready for the day ahead. So I've got my left hand rod back on the spot where I caught that fish from, obviously, which was a rod length off the island. And then my right hand rod 
Um, that was fished in the open water, um, but it didn't produce anything during the night. So what I've done for the day, I've decided to switch it up and I've got that rod now towards a reed bed uh, straight opposite me. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd try a different spot. Um, and that is the beauty of using solid bags. You're not committing to an area. You're not putting, you know, five kilo of boilie over three rods and sitting it out waiting for them to move in. It's very much a case of um, moving around to different spots and trying to locate those carp. So yeah, I'm going to try that reed bed on the right hand rod for the remainder of today. Who knows what will happen when we head into the evening. I may leave it there for the night. Um, or I may move it back to the open water, but I'll know what I'm going to do uh, with that later. Um, but yeah, as it stands right now, rods are out, not seeing any carp uh, elsewhere. So yeah, I'm going to stay put here, relax, enjoy the day. And yeah, when there's something to update you with, of course, I'll update you. Well, guys, it's that time again. It's update time. So yeah, it's now around 6 p.m., and the light is fading. Um, I have read on the rods ready for the night ahead. And as for today, it's been completely dead all day. As I said, I was going to, I stayed in this peg. Um, I left the rods on the spots. Left hand rod was back out where I'd already caught from, uh, around a rod length off the island. Right hand rod was cast towards um, the reed bed that I've got opposite my peg. Um, just to try something different and neither rods produced anything so yeah it's been a long day but i've enjoyed it i've drank coffee i've watched the water and just been content really with relaxing i did think it was possible uh, that something may happen during the day um, but it didn't happen but it's fine i've caught a fish and there's still uh, there's still time to catch more fish um, so yeah as i've said it's around 6 p.m lights going so i've redone the rods and i'm now ready for the night ahead i've got the left hand rod back out um to that spot that i've caught from already uh, a rod length off the island and then my right hand rod is now back out in the open water um in one of the deeper spots i could have left it near the reed bed um or recast it near the reed bed should i say um which is where i've fished all day with the right hand rod but it didn't produce anything and the temperature is dropping now it's getting quite cold so as i've already said i do feel more confident especially in the um you know in the night time fishing those deeper water spots um so yeah i put it back out in an open water spot where it's deeper um so yeah that's the plan of attack for the night ahead obviously if something happens during the night i'll get back to you if not this will be my last update and I will speak to you in the morning. Fish number two, caught from the same spot that I caught the first one from. And yeah, another great looking mirror carp. This one weighed in at 19 pounds five. Yes. number three a rare adelaide common weighing just short of 19 pounds yes well guys as you can see i'm no longer on the bank and i'm now back at home after slipping back the third fish of the session which would have been the last time you seen me as you can imagine i got the rod straight back out on the spot but nothing else happened. I did fish for probably around another three to four hours, um, but it was completely dead, and then it was time to pack up. So this is now the end of the session. Overall, I'm really happy with my results um, that I got over the 48 hours on this session. I managed three fish in difficult conditions on a difficult lake, and one of those fish um, was one of the rare commons that reside in Adelaide Lake. So yeah, I'm really happy with my results on this occasion. Anyway, enough of me going on. This is me checking out. And as always, thank you for watching Carp Gurus. And remember, like, share 
subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on all that carpy action. Carp Gurus.